of things when I kind of started working with with uh, Lynn. I said, you know, it always seems like it's the, the dry guys versus the liquid guys. And the liquid guys can do this and their way's better. And the dry guys can do this and their way's better. I said, you know, there's a lot of synergistic things between both that you can accomplish if we had the ability to uh, incorporate both onto a bar. And he said, what are you thinking? And I said, I need somewhere we can put a 500 gallon tank on this thing. I said, uh, I want to be able to put on 10 gallon per acre. I have an idea what I want in that liquid mix to complement the dry mix and, and off we go. So I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, are you running biologicals? No, I, we haven't ran biologicals in years. Um, I don't have anything against them. I don't have anything against anybody trying and using them. I, more power to them. I just have never really understood uh, wanting to introduce something that's non-native mm -hmm. to my soils. Yeah. Uh, I think there could be some problems. And when a company comes out with a product from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, uh, I can't help but think my, my soil might be a little different than some guys in mm -hmm. California or Arizona or the yeah. East Coast. Um, so I don't get too caught up in that stuff. And we just try to promote what we have in the ground now. So, so are you going in the row or in the furrow right with the dry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on the back of the row units, on the back of the shank, there is a dry tube. And then we just literally welded a uh, oh, sure. three eighths stainless tube okay. right to the backside. So when the dry is coming out, the liquid's just dropping right on it. So we're just literally impregnating the dry on the go. Okay. So that was the reason why I wanted to get that incorporated. It's, I can tell you this, strip tilling, banding, uh, there is some best friends that it has. Mm -hmm. uh, polymer coated nitrogen, uh, whether it be through a product like Purcell, like we use uh, Pure Yield, um, things that have very good flowability. Mm -hmm. uh, those are like just milk and chocolate chip cookies. They just go together, right? Well, these fulvics and these humics, somewhat more fulvic than humic in my opinion, but these fulvics and sugars have a very valuable place with this as well. I almost try and create a an energy drink for the biology below the ground of all the fertilizer you're putting down there. And it just explodes from sure. there. Well, and it, as we've visited with, with the, our agronomist, and then, you know, we bring up different things and, and we start talking about soil biology and, and said, okay, are, are you introducing bugs or are you using bug food? And, you know, We've been messing with some sugar and some different things for a long time. We said, well, all we're trying to do is just just encourage what's there. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a bug food type of guy, I guess you could say. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, and they get so confusing, too, when you think about it. I mean, some of these guys, I mean, I'm lucky from the standpoint that I've got an incredible team. I've got some incredible teachers. Uh, I've got a lot of resources throughout the, the U.S. that can help me. You know, when I was just farming on my own, you know, with my dad or whatever, I probably wouldn't have those resources. And it can just get so damn confusing what all these products are and, you know, the, the bacillus that they have and what form it is and what their plate counts are and, and all this just, it's just noise. You know, has it worked for some people? I'm sure it has. Um, I've been guilty of uh, my previous uh, career uh, of promoting it. I mean, there's a damn uh, video running around with me and Fred where I talk uh, pretty highly about the product. And, and we had good success, I think, with the product. But I always said in the video, I didn't know if it was because of the product or if it was because of corn on corn. Mm -hmm. Well, it's amazing. I'm still doing the corn on corn, not using that product. And the results are still there. So I think I answered that question. 